Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I finally had my sweet little baby girl and her name is Leia Ari. So Ari is her middle name. And my last video, I was trying to induce myself and get labor started because I was overdue. So I'm just gonna give you guys a story time of my labor and delivery. Pretty much did everything at home to try to induce labor. I was working out, walking every day, bouncing on this exercise ball, drinking the red, raspberry leaf tea whatever it is i don't know i was doing everything eating spicy food like girl nothing was working i was only one centimeter dilated and my doctor ended up letting me go nine days overdue so by the time i got induced i was still only one centimeter and none of that stuff was working let me just start off by saying that my whole pregnancy i've had the worst problems with doctors all my doctors were super nice but i don't know what happened it was just unorganized and it just did not go smoothly so i've had like four different doctors total i had one doctor well midwife starting out and she stopped doing deliveries so i got another one and she went on vacation i think three days before i was supposed to deliver so then my last midwife was supposed to be the one to, to deliver and i also had a high-risk doctor too which was pointless but anyways my midwife who went on vacation she was supposed to deliver starting at when i hit 20 weeks i met her because my old one stopped doing del delivery so i met her and then she told me right before she went on vacation she was going on vacation so then i had another midwife and I met her just a couple days before I was supposed to deliver. And she was super nice. I really liked her. Anyways, I was high risk. So I don't even think I was supposed to go over nine days. But they ended up letting me go over so long. I don't know what happened. So I had a doctor's appointment. This was like a week and a half ago. And I was supposed to get the little balloon things in my cervix to start inducing me. Whatever they're called. You guys know what I'm talking about. And I was supposed to come home and let them work all night because they take 12 hours, I think, to work. And then I was supposed to get to the hospital the following day to get induced officially. So I went to my doctor's appointment to get the balloons put in. And I was doing the monitor. And it was just acting up. Honestly, it was their machine because they just got a new office, which is another whole thing. But... They just got a new office and new equipment and the machine just wasn't working right. But they thought it was the baby heartbeat going up and down. So they sent me over to the hospital that day right from my appointment. And I went over to the hospital and they were super mad at me because I was so far overdue. They said it was so dangerous and blah, 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 blah. They were like so rude to me. So anyways, they hooked me up to the monitor and they just ended up inducing me that night. My midwife came over to the hospital and she put the balloons in my cervix so I had to stay overnight at the hospital instead of coming home and being in my own bed. So that part was pretty rough because I was just literally there for no reason and I just could not get comfortable. The balloons take 12 hours to work anyway so I was just there for an extra 12 hours for no reason. But... So they put the balloons in about 6.30 that evening and then they took it out like 6.30 in the morning. So yeah, sometime around then. At that point they started me on Pitocin and at first they were just giving me a little at a time. But then once they got it to I think 10, that's when my labor really started and it just started so fast. It literally came so fast like no one was expecting it. The nurses kept telling me I was probably going to deliver that evening especially because this is my first baby so i think the balloons got me to three centimeters and then at that point when they started with the pitocin they told me i could get the epidural at any point but my doctor wanted to wait until i was like at least five centimeters so i didn't slow it down or anything because you know sometimes they say the epidural slows down your labor i don't really know so i was like okay that's cool i'll wait i'm not even in pain right now as soon as the nurse leaves out of the room, I started getting the worst pain. It wasn't even that bad, but I was like, if this is only three centimeters, then girl, when I get to 10, I'm gonna die. Like, it was bad. I was just mostly scared more than anything. It really just felt like really bad period cramps, but they were coming every 
couple minutes so I did not get a break so I ended up getting really scared and then I called the nurse and was like I need the epidural right now blah blah blah, blah. I know that you guys want me to wait but I can't anyways by the time I got the epidural my water was already broken and I was like I think six or seven centimeters that's probably why I was in so much pain it just jumped up so freaking fast honestly no one tells you about the epidural but it makes you feel really really weird and it made me feel worse like it made me feel so crazy and just my body being numb I just did not like it at all I remember the nurse coming in and asked me what I was having and I just started crying and I just said I didn't know and then she looked on the board and she was like you're having a girl and her name's Leia and I was like okay like I was so I don't know just completely out of it so I think I was laying there for like an hour or something like that and they just kept coming in and checking on me and moving me so the heart rate didn't go down and I remember just feeling like I had so much pressure like I literally kept thinking I shit myself I kept telling my nurse like I really shit myself this time when she would come in but I didn't I just thought I did so I got her to come back in and I was like I just feel so much pressure like I think she's coming out I'm not joking and of course I was being dramatic the whole time so no one believed me so she came in she checked me and she was like yeah she's right there I jumped from like three centimeters to ten in like an hour and a half something like that it was crazy so anyways I was at 10 centimeters and she was pretty much ready to come out but I was starting to feel pain again and the reason why I wanted the epidural is because I did not want to feel anything when I pushed her out like I didn't care about the contractions before but I just did not want to do the pushing out part like how now so I ended up getting the whatever medicine they give you right before you push so I had to wait like 20 minutes for that to kick in before I started pushing so she just set me up in the bed and so she came in and my nurse at this time was pregnant too so she was like 30 weeks or something like that I don't remember so she set me up and then um, she came back in 20 minutes later and she was like okay you can start pushing um, first time moms usually push for like an hour or two hours so I started pushing first I was freaking out because girl I was so worried about my legs because I could not feel my legs like I kept having her check underneath my legs because I thought my legs were just like I don't know on something and they weren't I thought maybe the sheet was all weird underneath I don't know what I thought was under there but I just kept asking her to reach in there to see if something weird was going on and then it was just a mess so and then when it was time for me to push I felt my legs and I started freaking out because they were literally gooey. They felt like dead people's legs. They were disgusting. I don't know if it was just in my mind, but I was mostly concerned about my legs. And she was like, you have to hold them to push. And girl, I was just trying to figure out another way to do it. Eventually I was like, okay, I'll hold them, but I'm only doing it behind my knees. And I had to put them back down as soon as I'm done pushing because I just cannot touch them. And she was laughing at me like she probably thought it was a joke but i was so concerned about my legs so anyways she told me i was gonna push for like an hour or two and i started pushing and girl like it is hard work and no one really tells you how tiring it is to push but i cannot hold my breath for that long and it was a long time it felt like so anyways i started pushing and she just starts coming on out and at this point in her head, this is a lot of information. At this point in her head was literally hanging out and I could feel it. Like it didn't hurt, but I could feel it. It's so disgusting. And I have such a weak stomach, so ugh. And um, so the nurse told me to stop pushing because my doctor was not even there yet. So they were calling her and trying to get her to hurry up because she thought I was gonna push for way longer. So she didn't call her like when I started pushing. So at this point her head's hanging out and I'm waiting for my doctor to get there and the nurse was like do you want to reach down and feel her head she has a lot of hair. After I told her I have a weak stomach oh my god I thought I was gonna pass out. So I'm like 
Okay, well, her head's just hanging out. Like, I have got to push. She kept telling me not to, and this way I wouldn't rip, and blah, blah, blah. So she was, like, convincing me not to because I really wanted to get this baby out. She was already nine days overdue. And my doctor is in the parking lot at the hospital, and I'm waiting for her to come upstairs to deliver this baby because she's falling out at this point. And she just was not making it in time. So they were calling every doctor on the floor to come in because this baby was falling out. And I had no doctor in the room. It was just the nurses. And they called everybody in. I don't even know who all they call in. I, was, I think I was in shock during this whole thing. Like, I still can't believe I have a baby. But they called everybody in. The nursery people or I don't even know. So they all made it. The only person that did not make it was a doctor. And then next thing I know, I just feel her falling out. And I'm like, she's coming out. Somebody catch her. And there was only one nurse in there with gloves on. So she had to run over and catch her. And everybody was just like <laughs> standing around looking. And yes, she almost fell out on the bed. And then as soon as she came out, then all the doctors made it. Just a mess. So nobody was even in the room with me. Like... I kicked everybody out because I just wanted to be by myself and then I just wasn't expecting her to come that fast anyway so no I just I don't know it just happened like that labor and <laughs> delivery is traumatizing my recovery actually wasn't that bad and honestly like the whole labor and delivery isn't that bad it's just really a lot to take in and I just could not wrap my head around it I think that was the main thing is I got a cute little baby out of it and I'm still kind of traumatized but I guess I'll recover one day I kept saying I'm never having another baby and they're like oh we'll see you next year but seriously that is so traumatizing and I didn't even really have a bad experience besides none of my doctors making it but yeah my recovery was good and it was scary though because Whenever she first came out, she swallowed a bunch of the fluid, so she was like throwing up and choking on that a lot, and yeah, it's scary. Being a new mom is really scary. Just everything's scary in general, but you'll survive, I promise. I started my pregnancy, I was 150 pounds, and then I delivered at 160. I only gained 10 pounds at the very, very end because I was so far overdue. I swear it was like the last week I gained it. I had her like a week and a half ago and I'm down to 135 but I feel like I lost a lot of muscle during my pregnancy so I can't wait to get back in the gym and work out. I want to do like a weight loss and postpartum video so if you guys want to see that then just comment below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss any videos and I'll see you guys next time.